If you have a bank account or if you have access to banking, if you wanted to bank, you might be surprised to find out that for many, many, many Americans, they don't have access to that. And that is extremely consequential. It can be a financially crippling burden to not be able to actually go to a bank and do that sort of thing. The options that you then have to turn to are incredibly costly and purposefully so. They spend a lot of lobbying money to keep it that way. Um, but there are some ideas that could fix this problem of lack of access to banking. And uh, Senator uh, Kristen Gillibrand has a proposal that was uh, released today uh, that follows on from some uh, thinking about this uh, that's been going on for several years that could possibly fix the problem. Uh, her legislation would require every US post office to provide basic banking services. Central goal of the bill is to replace risky financial products like payday loans, which we were talking about earlier, with regulated alternatives. And here's what's interesting about this system is you'd be adding on banking services to a very widely available service. The postal system has 30,000 locations in nearly every community. 59% of them are in so-called banking deserts or zip codes that have either no bank branches or just one, effectively a monopoly. And so this would create competition or just simple access to literally millions of Americans. In fact, more than one quarter of American households, 34 million homes are either unbanked, meaning they lack someone with a bank account altogether, or underbanked, relying on payday loans or other so-called alternative lenders to supplement the services of a traditional bank. And in many cases, being underbanked can actually be worse long-term than being unbanked. And in particular, the unbanked rate among black households is 18.2% compared to 7% for the population as a whole. So while this legislation would help many, many, many Americans, for certain communities, people color, things like that, it could actually be even more helpful. We have some additional numbers on how much this could could help financially, but what do you think about this idea? And understand, this is something a lot of progressive think tanks have been talking about for a while. Bernie Sanders has been proposing something like this for years. He was on a Vice about a week ago talking about some sort of plan like this, but it's something that he's been pushing for literally years. So I'm gonna give you a couple more numbers and then tell you why this is way more important than just a public option for banking, which is great. So the numbers, to give you a sense, is the average payday loan is $375. By the time borrowers pay a bank, they have $520 in interest and fees. On top of on the top of the 375 they have to return. So that is backbreaking. The annual income of the underbanked is $25,500 and they spend nearly 10% of their income on just paying back money. Yeah, it's unreal. So in this case, instead of paying hundreds of percentages, that's a weird way of putting it, but some of the percentages in interest that they get are 100%, 200%, 300%, which is unbelievable. It used to be called loan sharking, right? Mm-hmm. Now at the post office, if they do it there, it'd just be a little bit above the treasury bond, so which is a little above 2%. Do you have any idea what kind of money that would save to millions of families across the country? It, it could change their lives. Yeah. So instead of losing 10% of their income to paying back interest and fees, they pay a reasonable interest rate and they can only borrow up to $1,000. It's a great idea. Now, the more important point is look at all these senators competing to have a more and more progressive policy positions. So remind me again, who's gonna win uh, the, the primaries? Mm-hmm. So the idea was, well, the establishment will reassert itself uh, and the voters in the Democratic Party are not really that progressive. They just, mm-hmm. they just want, uh, remember Hillary Clinton also wanted corporate tax cuts just not as much as Trump. Mm -hmm. And the idea was that's what Democrats want. They want everything for corporations, but not quite as much as as the Republicans, etc. That idea has been defeated. Now, it doesn't mean they're not gonna do it once they get into office. So I'm I'm not naive. But right now, everyone who's thinking of running for president, Jill Brand, Booker, Kamala Harris, etc. are all competing to be more and more progressive. Years out from the primary. That's right. So it turns out the voters did want a progressive. So the establishment was wrong. And once again, we were right. If we weren't right, you think Gillibrand and Booker and all these folks would be rushing to the left? No, they'd be rushing to the right or the middle, etc. And by the way, at this point, and the reason why I think this story is so important and almost a watershed moment, I know that's a little grand, is because this is not fake progressive. This is actual progressive. So 
Now, remember, Jill Brand doesn't take corporate PAC money anymore. Mm. So I'm beginning to think that that's begun to work. Mm. Like, wait, I don't need the payday lender money. I, in fact, I can't even take it if I'm not taking corporate PAC money. I don't need the banker money, and Gillibrand in New York used to take a lot of banker money. Mm -hmm. Why don't I pass something that's popular? It'll help me get elected, mm -hmm. and it'll be good for my constituents. It's, it's really crazy. <laughs> it's like, so you have unpopular views, so you need corporate money to run ads to fool people into getting you in the office. Instead, why not just do what people want, and mm. then you don't need the money at all, and the country benefits. So this is not. I believe, and you could say, hey, no, Jenk, not yet, and I hear you, and the, day, and the establishment has earned our skepticism. But I believe that this is not just pretending anymore, mm -hmm. that we have reached a moment where they have actually become, begin, begun to, be, to become progressives. Yeah. This is a great bill, she's got her name on it. If let's say Gillibrand goes all the way through and runs for president as we think and wins, whether you want her to or not, now, she would have to propose this. It's one of her signature proposals. Yeah. She would have to push for this. And either way, we will continue to watch her. It's our job. Of course, it's not like we're like, oh, we're yeah. done with it. Now yeah. we trust the politicians from now on. <laughs> no, of course, we're gonna stay on them. But also credit where credit is due. Yes. And it turns out um, we were right about the voters, and now they've gotta come cater to you, which is a great place to be. If you like this video, bless your heart. We got a lot more where that came from. We do a full show every day, Monday through Friday. Come enjoy it ad-free by becoming a member, tytnetwork.com slash join.